Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Rick Booker, this year's Lakers have same mojo that they had in 2020 bubble. Fox Sports analyst Rick Booker believes that the Los Angeles Lakers have a similar mojo this season to the last two times they made deep playoff runs. Booker compared how the team closed out the 2023-24 regular season to when it made the Western Conference Finals in the 2022-23 season and won the NBA title in the 2019-20 season in the NBA's Orlando, Florida bubble. I could pick apart what the Lakers are and what they've done, Booker said when asked which Western Conference play-in team he trusts the most. They got this little mojo here at the end of the season that reminds me of the mojo that they had in the bubble and then they had when they made their run last year. It feels familiar. The Lakers are in a familiar spot, as they've been in the play-in tournament in two previous seasons, winning and earning the number 7 seed in both the 2020-21 campaign and the 2022-23 season. After beating the New Orleans Pelicans on Sunday afternoon, the Lakers retained the number 8 seed in the West, which means they'll have two chances to win one play-in tournament game to make the final playoff field in the conference. This season, Los Angeles is 3-1 against the Pelicans, all the wins by double digits, and it has gone 1-1 to -one against the Pels on the road. Lakers fans are certainly hoping that Booker instinct about this team is right, as they'd love to see the Lakers make a run for an NBA title. In the 2019-20 season, the Lakers stormed through the playoffs in the bubble, winning each series leading up to the NBA Finals in five games. Los Angeles then finished off the Miami Heat in six games to win its first title with LeBron James on the roster. Last season, Los Angeles earned the number 7 seed in the West after beating the Minnesota Timberwolves in the play-in tournament, and it upset the Memphis Grizzlies and Golden State Warriors, both higher seeds, to advance to the Western Conference Finals. While the team came up short against the Denver Nuggets, it did show it was capable of a lengthy playoff run. To close out the 2023-24 regular season, the Lakers won 16 of their last 23 games. After falling to 31-28 on February 25 in a loss to the Phoenix Suns, the Lakers flipped a switch to finish the season with a 47-35 record. Los Angeles is looking to show that the late-season run wasn't a fluke when it takes on New Orleans on Tuesday night. That game is scheduled to tip off at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anthony Davis is the most overrated superstar in the history of the NBA analyst Craig Carton on the Lakers Superstar. Los Angeles Lakers forward, Anthony Davis, has been facing criticism regularly in recent times concerning his fitness and inability to play through for years. Nearing the end of the Lakers team's regular season finale against the Pelicans, he suffered hip and back spasms, facing concern for his status for Tuesday's game. The Lakers star left the game against the Pelicans because of a back spasm and doubtful on his return. Ahead of the Lakers vs. Pelicans play-in tournament game, Craig Carton of Fox Sports commented on the Lakers superstar on Monday. He stated he's the most overrated superstar in NBA history via NBA Central. Anthony Davis is the most overrated superstar in the history of the NBA. Can't count on him. He's always injured, he's soft, doesn't play through pain, and you cannot count on him to be there when you need to win a game. What ticked me off, when they came out with the all-100, all-75 team and put him on, I had a problem with that. Davis has played 35.5 minutes per game this season and has missed just six games during the regular season, averaging 24.7 points, 12.6 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 2.1 blocks per game. As for the Lakers, after winning 47 games during the NBA regular season, they will have to get through the play-in tournament once again to advance to the first round of the NBA playoffs. The Lakers will possibly be facing the defending NBA champion Denver Nuggets or the top-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. Former Ohio State stars D'Angelo Russell, Mike Conley Jr., traded in three-team swap. There has reportedly been a big trade in the NBA, and it includes two former Ohio State stars. 
According to a number of outlets, Minnesota Timberwolves point guards D'Angelo Russell and Utah Jazz's Mike Conley Jr. are part of a three-team trade that also includes Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Lakers. According to reports, Russell heads back to L.A., where he began his NBA career, along with Malik Beasley and Jared Vanderbilt. Conley and Nikhil Alexander-Walker are headed to Minnesota, while Westbrook, Juan Toscano Anderson and Damian Jones are on their way to Utah. In his one season with the Buckeyes, Russell was named a consensus first-team All-American in 2015, as well as first-team All-Big Ten and the conference's Freshman of the Year. Following his scarlet and gray career, Russell was taken number two overall by the Lakers. In his first year in the NBA, Russell averaged 13.2 points and 3.3 assists per game on a 17-65 Lakers team. Russell was named to the NBA All-Rookie Second Team for his debut season performance. He averaged 15.6 points and 4.8 assists per game during the 2016-17 season. Before his third season in the NBA, Russell was part of a trade with the Brooklyn Nets. In his first year with Brooklyn, Russell averaged 15.5 points and 5.2 assists per game. Russell had a breakout season in 2018-19 with the Nets when he was named an NBA All-Star for the first time in his career. The former Buckeye came into his own, averaging 21.1 points and 7 assists per game while shooting 43.4% from the field and 36.9% from three-point range. Prior to the 2019-20 season, Russell was traded to the Golden State Warriors and signed a four-year, $117 million contract. Russell was then traded again in February of that season to the Timberwolves, where he spent the last three and a half seasons, averaging 18.5 points and 6.5 assists. Originally drafted number 4 overall by the Memphis Grizzlies in 2007, Conley spent the first 12 years of his NBA career in Memphis, averaging better than 15 points per game in each of his last five seasons with the Grizzlies and at least five assists per game in eight of his last nine years with the team while always shooting better than 42% from the field and 33% from three-point range. In July of 2019, Conley was traded to the Jazz. Conley spent the last three-plus seasons in Utah, where he averaged 13.8 points and 5.8 assists per game. For his play with the Jazz, Conley was named an NBA All-Star for the first time in the 2020-21 season. Both of these former Ohio State stars will hope to continue their productive careers with their new teams. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Angelo Russell? Leave your opinion in the comments.